Good morning everyone. In this episode right here, we take a trip to South Philadelphia. It's early, temperature is breaking, it's getting cold. And one of my go-to things is pho, right? Here at South Philadelphia, 12th and Washington. I'm gonna get the, uh, the number one special. I got everything in there, steak, brisket, tripe, tendon, all that good stuff with some iced coffee, cider vinegar, onions. Make sure you stay tuned and subscribe to the channel. See you in a little bit. Y'all food comes out fast here at Fell 75. Yo, this is like one of the like legendary staples here in South Philadelphia, Washington Avenue. When you think of like pho here in the city, automatically Fu 75 really got it going on. I feel like they got some of the best dependable pho seven days a week. Temperature's dropping right now, so it's only right. This is like pho season or cathedral as, as my culture would call it. So for anyone that's never had this before, let me put you on game, right? So I didn't really need a menu because I got the special. If you know what the special is, the special is a little bit of everything. The special has steak, it has, uh, and the way they make the steak too, they don't really cook it quite yet until they pour the broth on it. That's when you get like some of the juiciest type of like steak that you can get in a soup. So it has steak, uh, tendon, it has tripe, it has onions. I don't know, I think I'm missing something else. It has brisket in there as well. But let me show you guys here, this is a large. Hopefully I don't spill this. Look at that. And also, I like to get some vinegar onions on the side too. That's like a pro move. If you get this, that means you're you're a pro at this, right? So at every serving of pho, every serving of pho, they always give you a side. And the side consists of basil, bean sprouts, some lime, and some jalapenos. But this goes right into this too, just for like that nice freshness, nice crunchiness of the veggies. You can get water, but it's the winter time, so I got some hot tea as well. And also, you know, you gotta get some iced coffee. Iced coffee is like uh, made in like this like little contraption container where it drips slowly. You can put it right there. And you also, once it's done dripping, you pour it right into the uh, ice cubes and you have a perfect iced coffee. So they have outside seating here as well as inside. Inside, I think it's like a 25% capacity. But outside, I ain't mad at this either. It's been a while. I actually went a whole summer without having pho because of the, the pandemic, right? But let's get down. There's a few spices you're gonna need. When I was a young kid, I used to put, I used to put these two into my bowl. I used to drench it, like literally like drench it. But as I got older, I learned how to eat like an OG. So with the OG, you know, you gotta put your, your sriracha, your hoisin, this is a sweet sauce. Oh. Right in my face too. So this is mainly the two sauces you're gonna need. I got freaking hoisin all over my face too. All right, that's about as good as it's gonna get. I'm gonna lean forward a little bit so you guys can see. But look at this beautiful, look at this beautiful broth. Look at the noodles. And you wanna mix that in there. Like when you get the raw steak, you wanna mix it until it cooks and it will cook and it will be mad juicy too. That's delicious, man. You can mix it in, like I'm not knocking if you mix it in, but I like to have my, I like to have my dipping sauce on the side. I would dip my, uh, I would dip my, my proteins in here, like my steak and all that stuff. I would dip it right in here. But I'm gonna go ahead, put some of this baby in here, some basil. I like lots of basil in mine. I'm perfect, thank you, yeah. I like to put a little lime juice in here too. It really brightens up the dish. A little bit of bean sprouts. I'm not too crazy on the bean sprouts, but you know me, I like I like all the jalapenos here. Always ask for all the jalapenos. You guys know I got the vinegar onions here. What do you do with it? You wanna sauce it up a little bit. I like to put some hoisin on there. 
with some sriracha. That's how you do it. But let's go ahead and eat. Look, I'm gonna show y'all. The worst thing you can do is let this baby sit, because you already know, if you let it sit for a long time, the noodles gonna keep getting big and big. But, um, look at it. Remember the steak that was raw? Now that's a perfectly cooked steak right there in the soup. Look at the juiciness. Super juicy, let me show you guys again. Super juicy, let's try this now. Mm. <clears throat> right amount of spice in there with the jalapenos. I love it. So let me show you how pros do. Actually, for all my followers, if you never had it before, come try it out. But I know most, I know some of y'all already have y'all favorite pho spots. So tell me where you're from. Let me know where's the best pho at in your area. I'm looking a little uncomfortable, but I am comfortable right now. This is how I like to eat my, my pho right here. So you go ahead, dip that steak. You see the steak love? Mm. That's how you do it. So with every bite, you get a nice burst of just that sweetness and that spiciness. Just go ahead. Cheers. Mm. Some of the vinegar onions. I like a, a lot of vinegar onions. So I'll go ahead, put it right on top. And I take a nice big scoop of the noodles. Then I have my broth right on the side. That is so fire. Right here is the brisket. Take some of that sauce, put it right on top. Instant classic pho here. But let me get this straight. I'm gonna tell you guys something. Not all pho places are equal, all right? But Fuzz 75 is always dependable. Broth is always delicious and the same every day. You get a, a lot of um, bang for your buck here. These bowls is probably ranges anywhere from like eight to 10 bucks, but you get a lot of soup. And you get a nice freshness into it as well. Let me show you guys again. Here's the steak again. And there's no right or wrong way of eating pho, man. It's a very personal meal. It's super delicious. Mm. Just so you know, this place is cash only. There is an ATM on the inside. It actually has the coffee grounds in here. They put the hot water right in and it filters right in. It's espresso. Pour it right in yourself. We got the condensed milk right at the bottom. And there you have it. <laughs> Me, I'm mad greedy with it, so I gotta scoop all the condensed milk. <sighs> that is crack. This baby hits different than actual coffee or anywhere else from Starbucks. It's straight espresso with condensed milk. If you really wanna pick me up, you get Vietnamese coffee. It's not that much, but that's all you need to get fired up. I highly recommend the Vietnamese coffee with the pho too. Pho 75, great authentic pho. They're here seven days a week. They're here seven days a week. They have outside seating, 
food comes out very fast. So once you order soup, it's coming out within the next two minutes. I guarantee you that. It's very fast, a very fast meal, very hearty, very comforting. You guys will enjoy it. For you first timers, follow my instructions. This is a very great meal when it gets cold or even for breakfast. Mainly breakfast, but lunch and dinner will work too. Give it a shot, tell me what you think. For the people from out of town, you know, Florida, Texas, I know you guys got fuzz spots, but what's your favorite fuzz spot in your town? Let me know, drop a comment. Thank you guys for joining me. This is early, it's like nine in the morning when they just opened up too. So thank you guys for joining me. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. I'll see you in the next episode. Peace.